Hello everyone. As you may know, LLMs are rubbish at maths. I've just put this question into ChatGPT. What is the cube root of 625? And it's telling me that the answer is five, which is plainly not. It even says it in the description. Five times five, which is 25, times five equals one, two, five. So how can the answer to what's the cube root of 625 be five? It can't. Um, you can guess, I mean, uh, well, say for instance, if it was 10, then 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. So it's going to be somewhere in between 5 and 10. It's going to be around about 8. We know we can work that out for ourselves. And if we go to Google, just actually type it into Google, what is the cube root of 625? And it actually tells you 8.54. Um, so we don't want our code or we don't want Langchain to tell lies because it's bad code. So what I'm going to show here is why Langchain is bad at maths, which we've just shown. We're going to fix it. I'm also going to show you why you don't need to use SCRP API for doing searches. And why do you want to avoid doing that? Because 5,000 searches is $50 per month if you pay for the API. You work for a company then you're probably not paying the bill and it's worth it to the business but just as a developer or freelancer you don't want to be paying that so instead of using SERP API I'm just going to show you how you can use DuckDuckGo or Wikipedia to get the information you need to proceed with the rest of your query. I'm also going to show solve a deprecation warning for LLM math chain. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So the first things you want to do are install. Our, um, I've got two different syntaxes here. I believe they both work. I'd probably go with that one to be honest. Pip install duck, duck, go dash search. Um, then the imports. I'm not going to talk through those because it make quite a boring video. I'll put the. I'll put all of this in a gist, or I'll put it on. I'll put it on GitHub. In I'll put the link in the description of the video. If you do copy this code, well, that's fine. I'd, but just thumbs up because the algorithms are so, you know, YouTube algorithms and all that. Subscribe as well. I don't have my subscribers. The number of subscribers who actually visit the channel is, is really low. So anyway, LLM equals OpenAI. You can specify whether you want ChatGPT 3.5 for whatever. Obviously, the model you choose affects the pricing. I'm just going to leave it on the default. So tools, that's that's the important part of this video. So what we're going to be using is um, a couple of search tools, and then we'll use the math, the built-in uh, Python calculator, or the built-in um, the math chain. So we've got web search tool, which will use search.run so search which is an instance of duck duck go search run so this will use will be the duck duck go part wikipedia same again so same format you've got variable name equals tool and then in parentheses then you've got the name the function with dot run on the end and then you've got description the description is really important because the description is what the large language model will analyze to, or the agent will look at to um, make sense of what it needs to do, of, of how it needs to act. Um, I've also, in the two search, two searches here, I've also added years, dates. The reason I did that is because I don't want the large language model thinking it knows the current year because it doesn't. When I was running it without years and dates in my description, it was thinking the year was 2020. Um, so obviously that's based on data from when it was trained. Uh, okay, so that's search, search, and then math. So this is the important bit, really. This is the bit that makes it accurate. Without that, we'd be getting cube root of 625 equals to 5, so we know that's wrong. LLM underscore math underscore chain, that's just the name of the variable, equals LLM math chain. Then you need to do dot from L underscore LLM. The old syntax, which you may see in the documentation, 
it's here, and that's just LLM math chain. You need to do dot from underscore LLM. That's the difference. So you do it the old way, you'll get deprecation, horrible warnings, which you don't want to see. Um, and again, same format, variable name, and then tool. And then you, here, the difference is you do from underscore function. And then you say function equals math, and then chain dot run, the name. You see the name when when uh, the code's running, because if you've got verbose equals true, you'll see it deciding which tool to use. Uh, okay, so I'll quickly run through this and then we'll test it and then uh, we'll check it as well. So um, agent, so we create an agent, initialize the agent, the tools, and then we pass it the list of tools. So we've got a search tool, the Wikipedia tool, and the math tool. Those three tool names match, or are rather, these. So each of those three are in this list, list here. Um, LLM equals LLM agent. So we're doing zero shot react description. And then we pass it in the query. So if you were doing a GUI or front end or streamlit app or something, obviously you'd be doing query equals input and then the user would be inputting their question. I've just passed this in as a string here. So what I've said is search for King Charles current age in years and calculate the cube root of that number to one decimal. The reason why I used this was because if the information was from last year, he was still called Prince Charles. So by using King Charles, I know that we're actually getting up to date information from the search, the web search. So you can see I've already run it here, actually, agent run query. Uh, it says, I need to find the age of King Charles and then calculate the cube, cube root num of that number. So it's done web search. So web search was um, this one. So that text there, name equals web search, is what you see here against the action. Then the input, King Charles's age. So the large language model has picked out that. Observation. So then it's gone off to, it's done the web search and it's got this information. Um, so now it is picked out 70. That's interesting. It says 74 there. At the age of 70, 73? Yeah, so it's, um, what it should have done was, was get the date of birth and then, yeah, subtract the date of birth from the current date. So, yeah, this could be approved upon, but we've got 73 anyway. So answer is 73, but although we now know it's, 74. Um, so that's the problem when you're relying on information from search engines is obviously it's only as good as how if the top result is not the most recent result, then you might not have great data. So possibly a reason to use SERP API, but depends what you want. If you want the historic information, then it doesn't matter so much. Um, it might be that the historic information is actually inside the large language model, in which case you don't need to, you don't need to worry about the search engine stuff. But you still need to do the math bit because otherwise you'll get Hebrew at six two five equals five, which is which we know is wrong. So there you see, there's the answer, and it's, I told it to do it to one decimal place, and it's actually returned it to two decimal places. So. I don't know why that is. Anyway, it's told us the answer is 4.18. So um, 4.18 to the power of cube is 73. So let's run that from uh, from the top from the start, and we'll see if just we'll just check we get the same result. Uh, it's doing something. It's down to here. We see the web search, 74. Oh, that's interesting, it's found 74 this time. Uh, maybe, I don't know if it's, yeah, that's interesting. So it's told me the answer is 4.2 this time, so we can just verify that 4.2 is 
cubed is actually 74. So now we've got the right answer. Um, unfortunately, there aren't, any, there aren't any humans that are 625 years old, so we can't we can't verify that. But um, I think we've proven with the um, we've proven here that it's not so great at maths. Um, let's try that again then. So, what is the cube root of 74? And now it's saying 4.28. But we know that's not very accurate because 4.28 to the power of 3 is actually 78. So it's out by, uh, point, by 4. It's out by 4.4, .4, which is, uh, yeah, it's not good, is it? That's what's that? Um, that's out by five percent. So I think what it's doing, I don't know, I haven't read any white papers on this, but I suspect what it's doing is it's actually looking for the closest example it can find through any text. So it's scanning billions of pages of text, and it's probably found something where it says, well, it's probably found something where it says the cube of, of uh, maybe. 76 is approximately 42, or 78 is approximately 4 points, and it's just put that in. So it's not doing the maths, it's just regurgitating something it's found previously. Um, so yeah, that's um, a quick look at using the math tool and the reason why you need to use the math tool. So we've proved it, we fixed it. Um, so SCR API, so that needs tokens, that would be $50 a month. So you don't have to use that. And if you look on Medium, if you're lucky enough to use up one of your three articles per month. <laughs> um, does anyone else get fed up with that? You can go into um, incognito mode and then you can go and get another three. <laughs> um, yeah, I understand people want to get money, but it's just because it dominates the search listings, it's just a real nuisance because it just slows down whenever you're trying to find anything. I wouldn't mind if they were a bit lower down the listings, but they seem to they get really high up the listings, and then every time you do a search, you just get that faded paywall thing pop up, which is annoying. So, yeah. Anyway, I think Stack Overflow and Medium are just going to go down a bit because other than Langchain, which is so new, but anything older than maybe two years ago, two years old, you don't need Stack Overflow because you just go into ChatGPT. So, yeah. I'd be interested to know if the Stack Overflow um, views are just going down like that. Right, so <clears throat> that's it for this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and um, yeah, remember Langchain or LLMs are bad at maths, but if you use Langchain, then you can use an agent, which can then go and get a tool, and then it can go and choose your math, get your maths tool, which will get you an accurate answer. And if you're doing any search engine stuff, try pip install duckduckgo search and yeah that deprecation warning so um you I, it took me probably an hour or so just to come and find that through a lot of searching um so yeah don't be like me thanks for watching and i'll see you again